Hello guys, welcome back to YouTube Gaming Community. I'm your host Trouble835. So on Tuesday, uh, my birthday, which was a very cool day by the way, I had a lot of fun on my birthday. Uh, I was having a conversation with somebody and they were saying that I see your channel more of a community news channel than I do a gaming channel. And I always thought, for some reason I've always seen my channel as a gaming channel, not as a community news channel. And I was sitting there thinking about it, and I was like, you know, he's like, you can't cover everything in the community, you know, you cover very little. And I went, well, that's because I pare everything down, that I, I watch all these videos and Twitter feeds and Facebook feeds, and I go, okay, I'll pare it down to what, what I could put in this video, and then I go, okay, sometimes I'll have two videos. What video stays and what video goes? And as I was talking, I was thinking, you know what, maybe instead of doing one long video a day, maybe one day it's one video, but maybe some days it's two or three videos, depending on what's going on, or however many videos, or what's ever going on, just simply put it out there and you guys can watch it if you want to, because uh, there's so much going on in our community that, that most of us miss, that if I could just put up when I see it instead of waiting. One thing I don't do and one thing I don't like to do is I don't like to talk about rumors. I don't like to talk, get dig into the sleaze where you basically, you're accusing somebody of something and you have no actual proof of it. I, I don't like going, there's other people uh, like uh, Drama Alert Nation who can go do, dip into that stuff. That stuff I, I don't believe. I, I have to see a video or I have to see somebody post something on one of their social accounts, Twitter, Facebook, or I'm not going to talk about it. I, I just don't believe in, in doing that. So, that's all I wanted to say about that. For those who wondered, yes, I turned 41 years old on Tuesday. And no, I'm not going through a middle age crisis. I think part of that's due to the fact that I have video games that I grew up with that I don't feel like I, I, I don't feel like I need to go out and get that new Corvette or whatever that they do when they get through a crisis. But anyway, let's get to some of the videos and news in this video that I want to talk about. And the first one was the first video I saw about today's news, and that was Review Tech USA's Obama asked Congress to commission a violent game study. Now, let me say this. Everybody was getting bent out of shape about this today. And to be quite honest, this study means nothing. A lot of studies are done all the time. And if you ever look at the bottom of the study, let's say it's a study against sugar, you look at the bottom of the study, you'll see it is usually like sponsored by like the Corn Syrup Association or something. A lot of these studies are are studies are start off with somebody hiring somebody to simply make a study in their favor. That's what most studies are. They throw some facts in there and, and they, they do and then boom there's a study. And a lot of these studies are tilted one day. So when the government says hey we're going to do a study uh, against a violent game study that simply means that this study automatically from the beginning they're going to tell these people to prove that uh, violent ga video games are bad. And how often do you go in and you see a study and you believe it? And so what they're trying to do, why they did say it's the parent's choice uh, about the video games, some people will be, unfortunately, they'll unfortunately be swayed by this uh, study. Because if you look, there's studies for everything. You can make a study in your case and anything. There's so many of them out there now. And this will be this. The truth, the truth is the people who think movies and video games uh, violent video games cause the problems are, are so far off the truth is not funny what really the truth really is each person has a different tolerance for everything for for violence for for everything and that the truth is each person is different and they just don't want to admit that some people are just simply not wired right and that something's going to set them off and no matter what you do that person is going to go off so again it's them just reacting to what happened and this is what Politicians always do. They overact to something and then they take it as far towards one agenda they want as possible. So, let's get to the other thing that happened since my last community video. Uh, you know, the week before I was enjoying, I was sitting there enjoying my day off and all of a sudden everything blew up about Anger Video Game Nerds channel and Cinemasker channel both going down on YouTube. Just completely been taken down. This was not the first time this has happened, and when I saw this, I went. By the time I went to look at his channel, I'd already been back up again. And, and uh, there's no one's going to really know what really happened. I know people are speculating. Of course, Sega's the blame for everything now. 
But the truth is, no one's really going to know what happened. No one's saying what happened. So, you know what? Whatever happened, happens, but take care. One of the, the lives you deal with on YouTube is that you're going to have to deal with is that there are going to be people who don't own the copyright to stuff trying to take your video down or your channel down, and you're going to have to, to just, it's just almost going to, unfortunately, in some ways, become a reality. I was seeing some other channel was taken down today. Uh, Drama Learn Nation, for example, I mentioned earlier, that channel was, was taken down and it's back up again. It, it's just, it's one of those things that's going to happen. Next thing I want to talk about is Game Street One's, you know, he hurt his arm falling off a ladder, and luckily he posted on Facebook that he had a five plus hour surgery and that his arm is, is you know, now healing. So hopefully the best, hopefully he has a quick and, and good recovery. Talking about injuries, the video I'm going to direct you to is on not Steve Benway's main his channel, but Steve Way's Benway's World channel, where he talks about my eye, you know, a detachment and a retinal tear. So what happened was uh, he had stuff in the back of his eye release, which is not uncommon. It happens to people. But in this case, it tore his retina. And so he had to go in and get laser surgery. And then I know he posted the other day that he had to go back in for more surgery, which uh, luckily he, he, lucky they went in and they found it because, you know, the worst case would have been he went blind in one eye, which would have been really bad. So again, same thing with Gamester with him. Hopefully they both have fast and speedy recoveries. You should always take your health serious. Never take it for granted. If something's wrong, don't play it off and, and wait till later. Go in and get it taken care of. Now, in more news, I guess this is more sad news the way it goes. Depending on how you look at things, lots, lots of stuff going on. Uh, Press Start Podcast, their episode 65, Dan's Farewell, and reminiscing, uh, Nostalgic Dan is leaving the Press Start Podcast because of you know, college and, and life going on. Uh, he has to leave. Again, they left him an open invitation to come back if he wants to come back. So uh, go watch that. Let's go listen to that episode. I'll put a link below if you want to hear, um, you know, his reason for leaving. And uh, we'll see if uh, they go with the two-man crew or whether they, they have another co-host. But anyway, go check that out. It's not like Dan was really great on the podcast. It's a shame to let him go, but life happens. And... As I talk about one cast, let's go to another podcast. Operation Kill Screen is back. Episode 84 is finally up, in which they talk about how actually there almost wasn't another Operation Kill Screen. Uh, I will direct you to their YouTube channel, which does have a link to the website if you want to listen to it, or you can just search it on iTunes. Anyway, go check it out. It's good to have Jumbo Junkie, Sinister to Moon, and Dog in My Lens back. Really enjoy listening to their podcast. And the last thing of the day is an article that just came out, and it is from PCGmedia.com. It is five gaming enthusiasts YouTube channels you should know about. And I'm going to list these from five to one, just like they did in the article. The number five channel they listed was Metal Jesus Rocks. Number four was Clan of the Grey Wolf. Number three was Nice in Games. Number two was Lazy Game Reviews. And number one was Classic Game Room. They really should go check out the article. They do a, a awesome job in this article actually list, listing what's great about each of these channels. And it's always good when people in our community uh, get press on any website. It's really cool. All great channels. Can't argue with their choices. So, guys, that is all for today. More of a shorter video. Well, maybe not the way it went on and on. But I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.